Hey guys, so long time no see, and I'm really sorry about the crappy webcam quality. Um, basically, my computer's crashed. I'm using my mom's computer and I'm using her laptop uh, web camera because I haven't really, you know, had a way to put my old footage onto this computer now. And it's just crazy, and I'm sorry we've been there, but it's my junior year and I'm busy, and I know excuses excuses. But today I wanted to do the bookmark tag, and so it was, inc it was created by Incredibly Deadly Viper. And I saw books and quotes do it, and I also saw Time Lords and Wizards do it. So I'm just, I'm gonna do it too. The first question is, what are you currently using as a bookmark? I use a lot of things. If I have a book for school, I use this index card that my friend Julia doodled on in study hall last year. Um, if it's a hardcover book, like meant to be, I will use just the inside flap and just do it like that. Um, I don't know, I use anything. I don't really use anything right now. I'm reading Bumps by Megan McCafferty. And it's okay so far, but it's on my mom's Kindle, so I don't need a bookmark. So I'm using Kindle as a bookmark, I guess. Uh, the, number two is what is the best thing you've ever used as a bookmark? Um, I have a lot of things I've used as a bookmark. I have them all on the floor here. So um, I've used bookmarks like this. I have a Harry Potter one. This one just says, you say wicked like it's a bad thing. And I saw The Witch of the West from uh, Wizard of Oz. I've used this valentine my friend gave me that says you're a gem and it's a cat with a crown on it. Um, I'll just use whatever really. I think so. I have one that's um, a picture of two little kids walking hand in hand. And it's this really corny, cheesy quote. But I don't know. I, I still really like it. And it's, uh, to the world, you may be just one person, but to one person, you may be their world. Sassy, I know. Weirdest thing? I wish I had a really good answer for this, but honestly, I'll just use whatever I have. Wow, I am just a broken record. Um, if it's a library book, I use the due date card in the back, or a receipt, so I guess that's it. Number four, do you ever annotate or highlight in your book? Why or why not? I do! Um, I've annotated the crap out of this edition of Gatsby. I had to do it for school. Um, so I have just like underlines and notes here. Um, I don't think I've highlighted in this. I just did um, like underlining and pencil marks so I could erase it if I wanted to. And I don't know, I just have all these sticky notes. I had to write an essay on it and it ended up being seven pages. I had way too many examples. I have highlighted, like in my copy of Looking for Alaska, I have, uh, let's find it. I have, like, quotes I really like, I'll highlight. Like, I have the, uh, You Shall Love Your Crooked Neighbor with the Silk Heart line, which is from W.H. Auden poem. I also have, you know, um, uh, this, I was a drizzle and she was a hurricane quote highlighted in here. And I want to go through and, really highlight all the things I love. I won't do that for my copy of Tiffany's though, because that's just like it's my baby. <laughs> it's, you know, I pre-ordered it and I'm really scared to do anything to it. Uh, share something you found written in a library book, a used book or a book that didn't belong to you. Um, on my copy of Sloppy First by Megan McCafferty, it has someone else's last name on it. Um, I was really upset the first time I read Gatsby. I, um, Someone made like a penis joke in there, and that was like the first thing I ever really found. So that made me mad. I found notes in there, um, notes that I've either written myself, <laughs> which has been weird, because I'm the only one who checks out Catcher in the Rye, apparently. And I've found notes in Perks of Being a Wallflower about checking out and seeing if he likes Vaughn Brothers and trying out John Green. Um, yeah, just notes cool like that. Um, <laughs> What books are in your collection by someone named Mark? Mark is the sex, the book thief. Um, that's all I have off the top of my head. I don't. I'm lazy. I don't want to go and check. It's just too much. Too much work. Um, what book has made the biggest mark on your life figuratively? And I know this has been a really common answer, but I think again I have to go with Harry Potter, just because I grew up with it. I've lived up to Hermione Granger, and I'm actually in the Granger house for the international. Eat Girls Pen Pal Club, um, so I'm in there, and it's just, I grew up, I started, the first movie came out when I was five or six, so I was in kindergarten, 
And then when I was seven or eight, my mom let me read the books on my own and I read them really quickly. And I wound up, I started reading them right before Order of the Phoenix came out. And so I went through them all like really fast. And then I was waiting for six and seven to come out. And I just, I still look up to Hermione Granger. Um, I recently got in trouble <laughs> for showing up late um, on a school trip. We were supposed to be at the bus at a certain time and we weren't. And my boyfriend was like, hey, you know what? Even Hermione Granger gets in trouble. And it instantly just made me feel better. And I think just because I've looked up to her for so long in my life that that's why. And she's just great. And I think I read so much because of her. And uh, I'll just I'll stop gushing now. <laughs> uh, number eight, which book has the biggest mark on your life? Literally, do you have any literary, literary related tattoos? And if not, would you get one? Um, and if you did, what would it be? I don't have any yet because I am only 17, so I can't really do that without parental consent. I do want one, though. I want the last line of Gatsby so we beat on both against the current born back, born back ceaselessly into the past. Um, I don't know. I just, I love that line, and I really want that. And I also really like the line of poetry by um, um, T.S. Eliot, the love song of Alfred, of... Ooh, you know the poem I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I had the SATs. I, my brain's a little frazzled right now. Um, and it's, do I dare disturb the universe? And I really love that. It just made me think a lot the first time I ever read the poem. And I love it. And those would be the two I would get. I don't know if I'd get any more. I would like to get them someday, but we'll see. We'll see. And the last and final question is, which book has made the biggest impact? I can't talk today on your generation, your opinion. Definitely Harry Potter, for sure. Um, because it's affected so many kids and made them start reading. And then I also think I'm going to go with Lord of the Rings, just because a lot of my friends are into that, and it, we reference it a lot. I don't know. I just I feel like Lord of the Rings is really important. And even though I haven't read the books, I speak for other people in my generation who have and really like them. And yeah, I think we're used to whatever. Whatever. Um, so that was my tag. I'm sorry this video was so long. I hope I was looking at the camera for most of it. I'm filming right now in my bathroom and I kind of like the setup in here more because I feel like the lighting's better. It's like seven o'clock at night and I feel like you can see something see me. And yeah, so uh I'm gonna go. Happy Hanko Day Mayo to everyone. And if anyone gets a knock out their window tonight, it's probably Margot Roth.